say it's unhappily it's a kind of a sad note to open our show with but a, a dear friend of ours uh, you probably read about it in the news already Steve Irwin the crocodile hunter had a very untimely death uh, while hunting uh, crocs I guess whatever he was doing out there in the in the ocean off yes. Australia he it was, a, it was a freak stingray freak accident, accident yeah um, you know it's so bizarre I've got to tell you this on Thursday for no apparent reason probably because it was like day 20 of the rain um, Michael went upstairs and got a, the photo album of our trip to Australia mm -hmm. and for no reason on Thursday started flipping flipping through it and mm. started saying, can we go back to the Australia Zoo? Can we go see Steve? Because Michael really um, developed such an affection yeah. for him. And he was he was such a good guy. You know, he really took time out and spoke to the kids and made them feel special. And so I, so I brought out some pictures of our trip to the Australia Zoo. Um, this is Michael with Steve's daughter Bindi, and they became friends and pen pals. And and there they are inside the Tasmanian Devil Pit. Wow. And and um, he really fostered my son's love of there they are with a crocodile right back here in our green room. You know and. And the, here he is with Lola. Here's Lola as a baby with a with a boa constrictor, you know, and just. <laughs> but it's you know it was a real love he had of, and there we are together. Um, he really loved what he did, and I said the only thing that made me feel any better, because it was pain, it was like painful. I actually felt physical <clears throat> pain when I heard what had happened, is that he died doing something that he loved mm -hmm. so much you know yeah. and that's how I, i'm gonna cry it that's how he um you know that's how he would have wanted to you know if you could pick your way to die yeah. he would not that you would ever want to but he loved those animals he loved what he but did nevertheless, so much nevertheless there was that element of danger that after yes. a while because he made it look so easy we right. all kind of forgot about yes, it. yes you forgot that it Absolutely. was dangerous well and, you, you know, probably know that he he dove into the water and landed right on top of a, mm -hmm. uh, a stingray, stingray and those barbs automatically come out yes. when the stingray gets nervous right. or, or thinks he's in and, danger and, and, pierced and what his pierced his heart yeah. i mean wow right the hardest thing for me was just telling michael you know just yeah, well, having to sit down and have that conversation because we've never had to deal yeah, with it. how did he take it well he you know he he cried and then and then you know we told him that he's in heaven mm -hmm. and, and and Michael was very he was very he said you know I'm trying to picture it mom but I can't picture him dying because mm -hmm. he's like more yeah, than Superman indestructible right you know well, we have some clips he did our show many many times and in one particular time he, he co-hosted yeah. uh, oh, we're so for me when I wasn't so here lucky to know him Steve Irwin now, here are Kelly Ripa and Steve Irwin. G'day. Welcome down under. I can't believe me and Bubba won the award. Woohoo! Thank you so much. It brings us great honour. And I'm so sorry that we can't be there to accept the award. But I've got this really hot wildlife issue that I can't tear myself away from. Have a look at these little beauties. Steve, get on my shot. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Just 44 years of age and uh, a shock to everybody around the world, really. He was quite a quite a character. We were so lucky, you know, we we're so, so lucky. I think like we're two of the luckiest people to have mm -hmm. spent so much time with him. It's just horrible. And, yeah. you know, our thoughts, of course, with his family, his mm -hmm. wife, Terry, and baby Bob and Bindi, his kids. Mm -hmm. 